And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Aurochs Reckoning, our last meme tier Monday deck of the day. We're going to be playing. Um, we're going to be playing a deck with uh, no champions at all, zero champions, just um, just followers. I guess those are the other uh, types of units, and going to be trying to win with that. Um, early on, you know, we have like our we have just some defensive elements. Our deck's going to be real defensive. Um, so we have we have a couple of units with Omen Hawk, Avros, and Sentry, but they're they're good defensive ones. Same with Ember Maiden. Ember Maiden can uh, do one damage of all of our opponent's stuff, and that kind of adds into our Avalanche. So we're going to be starting with Avalanche to try to uh, slow our opponents down, and then start dropping all sorts of five power things. We got Crimson Awakener, Avros, and Hearthguard, Auroch, Glinthorn. Um, and especially after we have Hearth Guard, then we can have Trifarian Assessor start drawing us a whole bunch of cards because we'll have a bunch of five plus power allies, hopefully, with all of these, especially once Hearth Guard pumps up Assessor or Omen Hawk. That's why it's key to have Omen Hawk because you really want your Assessor to be five power. Um, so Omen Hawk also can get Hearth Guard, uh, get Assessor to five power. And then once we got our, all of our five power stuff and our, our Scar Stain Stefan, you know, it starts as a two four but can turn into a five four. Uh, pretty easily, well, a 5-3 or something like that if it takes a little bit of damage from either Avalanche or Ember Maiden. Then we got our Reckoning. So then this is a, another just big blowout card. Like, that's that's what we kind of need. We have So we have some real powerful blowout cards that can happen with Avalanche, Reckoning. Um, and then our top-end finisher. We have one pack mentality. If we're going to have a bunch of 5-plus power things, we need to be able to give them all plus 2, plus 2, and Overwhelm uh, to be able to attack in for lethal. Also, maybe if they have a whole bunch of small things that maybe we dealt damage to with Avalanche or Ember Maiden, then we can have our our, our Auroch Glinthorn stun all the damaged enemies so they can't block with those. Um, so we have some big sweeping effects that can be game winners. That's what we got uh, going on here um, with our champion list deck. So we're going to go play five games. And let's uh, play some Aurochs Reckoning. So we're calling this one. For meme tier Monday, no champs. They got a bunch of champs. All right, so we're going to want, I'll just get rid of the elixir of iron for now too. Going to put, put back assessor. You want, again, you want five, five power assessors if you can. <laughs> Five though, here we go. We haven't gotten the 5 0 yet today. The 5 0 is still available. Alright, Avalanche looking good. Nice. Avalanche looking good still. And so we have two Noxian Guillotines that we can use to kill bigger things. So like if we have Avalanche or Ember Maiden do damage to uh, some big things. Then we can have Guillotine clean, clean them up. And you know what, I'll just lead with Ember Maiden instead of leading with Avalanche. Kind of like how Ember Maiden does one damage to these things. Alright, that's alright. I'll trade Ember Maiden for, uh, for a single combat. Not a bad trade. They're all about these 2-1 challengers. <laughs> yep, only one 5-0 possible a day, so it's still open. <laughs> yeah, they're going bird is the word, right? That is our opponent's deck. Maybe they're just playing the bird. They're just playing a bird deck. Let's 
that one is service. The War Mother will unite us all. So, could have gone with the two four first. Um, sure, I guess. Stay back. Eh. Could have gone with the two four first before the avalanche. Awesome. Definitely want to. Uh, I guess I'll take five. Definitely want to play this and just keep stacking these hearth guards as early as possible. Now everything's plus two, plus two. Hey, Devon, uh, what have you missed? Not much, not much. This is the first game with this deck. So, Assessor draws two cards right now. Hmm. Hmm. Navarosans, stand together. Let's attack. Oh man, if you missed the poor yeah, if you missed the last game of the poros. We just had it. Yeah, we had an 18. We just had an 18 17 elusive poro. That was fantastic. So that will turn on my Noxian guillotine. See the Nebastian border from here. Glory and relenting. Ready the torches. Or could just take three. See what they do. Okay. Noxian guillotine it is. If you want to go all out like that. This is a good guillotine. One good Noxian guillotine. Avalanche. Ooh, this is nice. Do one damage to this thing, pump it up three. Now it's a 7 5. So we got a 7 7 and a 7 5. And then we get to draw three. That War Chefs is so small. Alright, Orox Reckoning. Got the first one. GG's. See, that's that's the thing about our deck. We can have, you know, it's not going to always work every game, but we have some really powerful effects, like Noxian Guillotine, as you saw there. Reckoning sometimes, Avalanche sometimes, uh, Trifarian Assessor, the Avros and Hearthguard. You know, like, we have some really, really powerful effects that, if it lines up for us, uh, can do a lot. With no champions. Hmm. Vi Heimerdinger is going to be tough. That's for sure. I think I'm mulligan all three of those. Just not really an Ember Maiden. D 
deck. I mean, like, Ember Maiden's good after they have Heimerdinger and make a bunch of turrets, then our Ember Maiden kind of thing, but that, like, that's a ways off. It's, like, not something that we need to keep in the opener. Yeah, I could see Reckoning being pretty valuable. Also, just want to be aggressive. No attacks. Thing is, this this ever is just gonna die. So I don't know if that's worth elixir of ironing. Basically, to do attack once, right? Like I'm just using elixir of iron to attack one time with this thing. It's so like if I play Crimson Awakener. I mean, I wouldn't even get to attack once. I guess I'm gonna have to take heart. I guess we're just gonna have to take heart. Go Awakener. We just attack once, but now we're not attacking with the Awakener. Okay, I am really glad those traded. Really glad those traded. Also, really glad that Trifarian Assessor is a 5 4. That is also awesome. They're over there looking at their Thermogenic Beam and it doing 4 damage. Realizing they can't can't play it. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Skill and grace. Round and round and round it goes. Gross. Come on, Reckoning! Reckoning, let's go! Exactly, yep, that's why the, those turrets should cost one mana. No, Cabo, don't say they're gonna deny this. No, don't call, don't give, don't give the opponent good cards. Come on, we're playing a championless deck. They're not gonna deny this, they're not gonna have anything for it, it's just gonna resolve, and it's gonna take out all four of those. See? That's what's going to happen. Order, entropy, a never no, they're not supposed to have another Heimerdinger, though. Alright, so that makes an 8-8. They draw three, get an eight eight, I draw three and get a five four. Line up. You better bleed. Okay, almost killing that thing. Oh, I could have just I could have just take hearted and killed it, but anyway, I I wanted to do that because then I wanted to play the Ember Maiden. Um, I guess I could have killed it with the take heart, but I like because like the Ember Maiden we get another threat here, and so like they like have to block. Ugh. 
they like have to block and have to play spells and then i can react to the spells with a take heart and elixir of iron yeah cause like like that's that's what that was like my plan with the five mana was those two but I, th I think that's actually a better that lines us up better than playing take heart to begin with Take it all. Take 13. Go to negative 6. Interesting. So they're going to, what, like twin discipline save that? No, no, make that block. Make that block. That's definitely the block I want them to make. Right? Like, I want them to, like, block that and then, like, Will of Ionia something else. Dang it, that's not the block that I want them to make, so I can't, I can't take heart. Ugh. Alright. So yeah, these turrets will die to the Ember Maiden. I could still go... I could go Reckoning, though. After they play the 4-1 to kill that, but I can't do anything else with Reckoning. I guess I just go Stefan. Just hold Reckoning for their turn if they play something else. There's the glint horn. This would be big if we can win this game. You know, beating two Heimerdingers, including Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance, Twin Discipline. Like, their turn five was Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance, Twin Disciplines, attack for nine. If we can still win this game, that'd be pretty big. Say, so, man, so yeah, Avalanche would take out... Avalanche is kind of risky, though, I mean, because it would take out just Heimerdinger, but, I mean, it would take out two of my things, put these down to one health each, which is not great having stuff at one health each. Um... And see, I don't like this pass, because I think they're thinking that, like, they pass, we go to the next turn, my Ember Maiden puts me down to three, they get excited, kill me. That could be bad. 
but kind of have to play this to kill that thing. Kind of, but now, like, it's all just pretty awkward, but now I can't beat other turrets. Yeah, I guess they still just go get excited, get the turret. And then I have to avalanche, and then it just kills these things. Uh, five? What is the five? Please don't tell me that's Overwhelm. It's Quick Attack? close. Brothers born from battle. So I can go that, I can go Awakener. Now both of these are lethal. I wish I had the mana also for Glenhorn. Presumably they play one thing, they turn the Vi into a 3-4, block the 5-3, I take heart the 5-3. No so the mine stays alive, theirs dies. So we have now killed two Vi's and two Heimerdingers. Can they just stop having Vi and Heimerdinger please? Two Vi's and two Heimerdingers are dead. But we're at a really low life total against a deck with burn spells and elusive threats. I still say that we're... Okay, never mind. I was going to say that it, we're still unlikely to win this, but now with them doing that, we're a lot more likely to win this. Because that means they probably, you know, they don't have the burn spells to kill us. Yes! Wow, what a win. What a win for championless Orox Reckoning. Reckoning could be awesome here, and so is Avalanche going to be awesome also. We just have to like survive long enough for Reckoning. Um, hopefully Avalanche can help us out. I'm going to keep Hearthguard and Reckoning. Uh. Yeah, this Avalanche is going to be clutch. Just don't want to see Elise, of course. So they have Elise. But we can guillotine and guillotine at least. If I pass, do they go straight to combat? If so, I take six. Perfect. 
Perfect. I hope they don't have a uh, glimpse beyond. Really hope they don't have glimpse beyond. I set this up really well. No, come on. They do have glimpse beyond. Boo. So they had one drop, Elise, Callista, and still had Glimpse Beyond also. They just had the best thing every single turn. All four turns so far, best thing. Alright, so we get to play Stefan. Stefan and his wolf. That thing really does look like a wolf. Is that Stefan Wolf? Dang. Make the Empire proud. There's no letting up. We'll make quick work of you. Reckoning. Reckoning. We'll kill those seven. Still kill those seven. All right, got a reckoning. We're down to six, though. And I am blocking. I guess I'm blocking that. So we're down to five. Oh, come on! Really? I'm just dead? Are you kidding me? That was the best hand ever, wasn't it? That was, that was just like being able to play with all 40 cards of like, what, what, what do you possibly want every single turn? Should have played around 10 damage from hand with three mana worth of cards, I, I guess so. I guess so. Sejuani Gangplank. You know what, I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna keep this curve. Does mean that like the, my one drop, two drop, three drop are all like just automatically dying. But I'm gonna keep it anyway. We're just gonna be blocking. That's a great trade. So we just want we just want these things to trade. No, so they they get something that got omen hawked. So they get something of mine that had the plus one. Um, yeah, you don't want to class me. 
plus one for Moment Hawk. Harvey, stop. Oh man, a sentry? That's a good card. Alright, hoping this Reckoning does some work. Play Misfortune. Play 3-3 three, three Misfortune. Misfortune. No! Not said one. I don't really want to easily turn on plunder for them for this turn, so we're going to just block. So I do have 10 mana, which is really nice. I do have the mana to play this first. And then it goes to them, and they play stuff. And then I can Reckoning. Oh, they're not a Misfortune deck, they're a Gangplank deck. That's worse for me. So I could Reckoning, or I could... Or I could play Ember Maiden and do one to everything at the beginning of the round and set up Noxian Guillotine for these things. We'll just do that. That was a Gangplank's parlay. It's good to get that out of here. Uh, I guess the problem with this is the Scar Stain, Scar, Scar Thane Stefan. Keep one of these alive with a take heart. Then that's one less thing I'm killing with guillotine. If I keep one of them alive with the take card, I'm just like blocking the Stefan anyway. I can just kill the Stefan with this. Still have five cards over there. That was a couple of good turns for them. Oh, oh, I meant to play Omen Honk.
Um, so I've got six mana. themselves Trifarian. Not drawn very many cards. My friends, Nothing escapes my wife. Get all my good cards. We'll take what we need to survive. All my good pumped up cards, they just keep stealing them all. These Yordle Grifters. Get bloody, get paid. Reckoning is sweet. Fortunately, I still have a bunch of mana and a bunch of cards, and they get to vulnerable this. I'm. I'm like 90% dead here, because all they like the vulnerable, like that's that's the thing that's gonna win on this game is this vulnerable. The winter's claw strikes. Dang. Coins and carnage. Just have infinite cards over there. Couldn't quite stabilize. <clears throat> the Sejuani gangplank. Riptide Rex. Uh, those those cards back to back to back. Um, that's that's what really hurt us. I mean, especially the Riptide Rex. Yeah, you see a lot more of the Brahmi boat spam in normal for sure. Yeah, I kept taking our Steffens. That was mean. There we go. That's a good Steffen. So two for two trade. We trade Omen Hawk and Avalanche for those two. Bleh. They get another thing that's pumped up. And these these Bilgewater cards are really good against us. As we're trying to pump up the stuff in our deck. And we have no champions, so we don't like, you know, we'd never like pump up a champion and they don't get to steal the champion. They get to steal all of our stuff. But I think I think our deck's been really competitive though, and I think this has been especially for for a no champion deck. I think this has looked really good. Let's get crew. 
Yeah, Colby, there you go. You can click on that link right there. All my deck lists are there. Yeah, see, so you, you click on there. You can see all my decks. You can see the decks that we played today. All four of the decks from today. All the lists are there. Oh, I'll, oh, I didn't... Oh, we never updated this deck list, did we? I need to... We need to do that after this game. This, this deck's completely different from the one on there. Really? Just another winter. It's a surprising block. So yeah, we need to put this deck on Mobilitics. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Oh, that thing's only... Oh, I need to do it the other way around. I need to do it the other way around. Whoops, backwards. Only the finest serve. Misfortune that cannot die. Just another winter. But we can trample over. This pack mentality looks like it could be pretty awesome. So I can save this 12-2, but then if I do, I don't get to... Let's just pass. They, they're going to challenge here, right? Oh, challenging over here. They're not challenging the 12-2. Okay, okay. Taking my awesome cards. I hope they're taking like all the reckonings. Oh, they're just sitting on a bunch of reckonings over there. Destruction feeds my no, not my Ember Maiden that also got Omen honked. Not cool. Man, what do we do? Do we go Glint Horn or do we go Pack Mentality? We gotta go Pack Mentality. Can we get a 20 power Overwhelm? Come on, 20 power Overwhelm. Sure. Twenty four. <laughs> Twenty four overwhelm. Like we have a ten four overwhelm here, and that's like half as good as our other one. 
<laughs> no, I didn't do anything to the mic, so I'm, I'm glad it's sounding better. Um, I haven't really done anything now. Alright, so I, I can go down to five pretty safely, right? They're not going to have five damage to me. Love ya. I don't think. I think that's pretty safe. Block, block, take 32. <laughs> You're going to need a little bit more than that, bud. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So yeah, definitely some super powerful things and pretty ridiculous things that our deck can do. And that's what Memes Here Monday is all about. So no champion, you know, trying to win with a mid-range deck with no champions. Um, yeah, I think we pulled it off. We were real competitive in all the games. You know, won some, won a couple close ones, lost a couple close ones. Played against uh, some tier one decks for sure. You know, some of the best decks. Um, Glenhorn, Glenhorn's probably shouldn't be a three of. Glenhorn's, I don't know, just not. This card just doesn't. It's not super consistent. Like, honestly, a lot of the times, like Minotaur Reckoner would probably be better than Glenhorn a lot of the time. Honestly. Like, just kind of looking at those two. But, um, I wonder if, like, that could also be, like, They Who Endure. Like, I wonder if They Who Endure would be good in here. I'm not, I'm not sure if we have enough things die or not. I don't know. Um, for They Who Endure, but. Anyway, pretty awesome deck. Reckoning, really cool. Um, yeah, got to have some fun here. Yeah, we do have, yeah, so we have the, the combo with Maiden and Glinthorn. It's, that's, that just doesn't, it doesn't happen very often. And, you know, we have that same combo with Avalanche. So, like, we have, we have two big enablers for Glinthorn with Ember Maiden and Avalanche, um, to be enablers to make it so they can't block. So we have, we have a couple enablers there, but it's just, it's difficult to have happen. But yeah, Hearthguard, Assessor, those cards are awesome. Crimson Awakener looked real good. Pretty fun deck here. Pretty fun deck. <laughs> yeah, same result as Rank Up Monday. Yeah, that, that is true. We had the exact same results as yesterday. I did play three three of the four decks we did play in normal instead of ranked. Like this deck we did play in normal. Um, but, you know, still you still play against uh, good decks and uh, good players and everything like that. Uh, but... Uh, anyway, that's Orox Reckoning. Those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, hit that like button and, of course, leave those comments as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.